Hello everyone, my name is Zayred, and welcome back to Mega Man 5. Today we're going to continue on with the last World of Masters, starting with Napalm Man. Now, Napalm Man is extremely important because I do believe that he's the reason why this game is banned in certain countries. He's also... He also just has a really cool song to this stage. In case you ever get the chance to, go online and listen to Rockman Holic. Rockman Holic is pretty much the um, 20th anniversary music to Mega Man, I believe. 20th or 25th? No, it has to be 25th because Mega Man, it has a Mega Man 9 song on there. This song makes it on there, along with another track we're going to be hearing later on. Okay, I don't care what you are. No, you don't. More? Okay, this one actually is pretty easy to get. Just jump up right about um, you'll see where the blue pixels are, that's where I am. It's the easiest tank to get. Well, one of them. You just have to walk in the- you just have to walk into a wall. Curse you, free vials. Okay, ah, crap. I'm sorry I'm not saying anything, but God, this, I'm sorry, I'm just developing this music because if you ever get a chance to listen to, again, once again, listen to Napalm Jazz. It's a fantastic song, but I'll, I'll see y'all when I get back there. Oh, thank God. Eddie? I don't need that A. You know I want any, please give it. Fine. Oh god, not this section. Yeah, this section is one that gave me crap the first time through. And once again, it's, one, it's because he's done one of those enemies you have to hit on top of his head. Oh my god. Seriously. Can't catch a break, can I? Okay, that one's one that thing that got me the first time because on this is actually this is my second run because the first time I did this it was over it was on an emulator. God, how many lives do I have now? I'm not even kidding. I don't know how many lives I have. Okay, I need to be careful because I know there's a second wave. Uh, um, whose idea was the penis head enemies? Was it just Keiji and Fune's incentive? They put zero in the, I mean, in Mega Man X logs, who put those enemies in there somewhere? I'm, that's gonna be my new he head cannon, cause if you go, for, I'm sorry, I should say that for whenever I get the Mega Man X. 
recording. I said I want to get back maybe next time I'm recording that at the same time I'm recording this. Or directly at the same time. Okay, I got three lives. I'm halfway concerned. Okay, you know what? Just kill me. I halfway believe that this guy is just the. I mean, pretty much like the uncle of Grenade Man or something like that. Actually, no, more like brother, because I, I do realize, because. Believe it or not, the Robot Master and the Mega Man series are all made by two people. Until we get to um the X series and then Dr. Kane. Dr. Kane sticks his foot in. Oh god, that was so cool. Oh I have enough to do this, don't I? Yes, I do. What shouldn't be around in the first place? Because I beat you. No, you don't. This is a waste, but... <sighs> Come on. Oh, you know what the bad thing is? I at least get him on rebound from one of them by doing that. <sighs> God, that sucked. <laughs> no, I do like that. That was pretty much, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Okay. Alright, next up is gonna be Stone Man. So, fun fact about Snow Stone Man. They were originally gonna give him a very weird name. They were, I kid you not, going to call him Rock Man for the English version. Which is really, really dumb considering that the Mega Man is Rock Man. Oh yeah, for some reason the met tools in this stage do this. They split off in the they split off in the little pieces. I mean split off in like the little tiny met tools. I don't know why. Then again, we go then again met tools are like the most well done enemies. Oh yeah, here's something here's something that's beyond annoying. Okay, I'm thinking a bit ahead because I knew now there's one of those. Yeah, there's a bit ahead. Come on, stick that head out. Yeah, here it is. This is what I, I think that's what I was missing. Because now it reflects everything better. You get to live today, Matul. Oh, come on. Okay, who designs half these enemies? I mean the bats, because the bats look cool, in my opinion. Whatever it's supposed to be. Because they're not the classic series bats. Because those things can last for a long time. Even for over a hundred years. Come on. Oh, they just they explode after a while? I don't know, I didn't know it because I never give them a chance to live that long. Stop harassing me, for God's sakes. 
Same goes for you. I'm sorry, Mr. Mouse, you did not do anything wrong to me. I have no idea mean I see these things. Although, hearing someone call an animal Mr. kind of makes Queen Rabbit. Because she always prefers the Sonic as Mr. Sonic out of her polite attitude. And if I use those special weapons at all, that would mean something. But to be fair, this is one, these are some of the most useless items ever. Go on, pick that head back out. See, was that so hard to be stupid for me? Oh my god, that was actually really, really good timing there. Now, if all my time was that good. Now, if my time was that good, I would have been the shovel nut. I would have been just playing up shadows earlier than I was supposed to. Hook the head up one more time. Fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess we can just get behind them and shoot them from behind. Because they can't turn around, apparently. Okay, this one actually does elude me. I'm so curious. And yes, that is a napalm bomb. Okay, I'm kind of curious, though. Oh, yeah, I forget it only works on the weak enemies. Ha! Okay, here's something that's a bit annoying. Getting my super arrow ready. Well, I say super annoying. I mean, it can be if you don't do this right. Thankfully me, I actually was able to. What you got for me, Eddie? Nah. Give me that tank, Eddie. Eddie. Cause if I die, I'll just I'll just accept it. Eddie. Oh, I didn't know so I didn't know I said the super I won. Eddie! Come on, Eddie, please. You're starting to take me off, Eddie. Why aren't you being useful anymore, Eddie? Actually, no, I better take that back, because, um, the same people who made the Airman song actually made a song about, um, Rush, how ineffective Rush becomes in later games. And they also made another one thinking about Eddie. No, the Eddie and Rush are in the same song. You know, it sounds like this, it may be glad that there are no enemies within these corridors. Which actually is something I'm surprised as hard as Mega Man and Base is, it didn't try to bring that back. And no, I am not doing that game. Unless you'll see a man crying in fetal position for about a good hour and a half after going against like, the third Robot Master. No. And that what you saw him do right there, that's his abysmal weapon. Stone Man v Rock Man. And using the penis of doom, we were able to defeat Stone Man. Stone Man is not a hard boss. In fact, um, I'm actually looking right now on this um guide thing. Not really so much guide, just boss order. 
and apparently says his alternate weakness is the Mega Buster. You got Power Stone. And no, not that Sega game. Which turns there's actually a PSP game in that series. Uh, here are the... Here are, now we get to the two most annoying ones. Charge Man. So, interesting thing here about Charge Man. Charge Man was actually the first robot master I ever went up against in this, I mean, um, first stage I ever chose in this game. In case you're wondering how that's possible, I actually used to own, I actually used to play a lot of emulators on like a tiny phone I used to have. I mostly would play NES games because I thought, man, it would be easy. I chose this guy, I chose this guy's stage first. I could, I don't think I made that far, because I do remember this. But I honestly don't think I made it that far in all honesty. Yeah, I remember because I couldn't get I those things kept messing me up for one. That's kind of the good thing about these things. If I had the high ground, they can't do anything to me. <gasps> Excuse me? No, I got it. I just got, I actually, as much as I hate these enemies, the design of the metals in the trains is actually kind of cute. Against metals, they all they never fail to be cute. No. God, I forgot those things can jump. Wow, you gave me nothing of use. Even your babies didn't spot out anything. Oh god. No. Please, no. Okay, hopefully this thing actually decides- Hopefully the cold side's working in the sun. And it does. I'm not even kidding you. That one was one. That one was the second hardest to get because there's one I'm going to. Uh, okay, let me put it this way. I've been. I basically try my best to get rid of them, save stating in this thing, because I do that whenever I'm at the robot master's door and stuff like that. I'm not doing that for the next stage because I hate the next stage. With a passion. Ha! God, I've never had this good of- I've, I've never had this much of a good time on this thing. I'm I'm actually- once again, I'm glad for this channel. It's giving me the chance to- oh, you. You know, I don't care. Okay, I'm- Okay, what's the next thing I got? I'm getting again? Oh, yeah. This is a this is the annoying one because we have to use the power stone. I might get lucky and hit him with this. Okay, who thought this was a good idea for a weapon? Just kill me. Yeah, in this case, I really do recommend just using your Buster because you're gonna have a lot better time with the bus using the Buster than you ever will. Well, your other weapons. Don't get me wrong, it is possible to kill him with that thing. I've seen it done I've seen it done less plays before. It's just that why would I want to use that when I have stuff that I know works infinitely better? Oh come on. Oh no! Not going through this again. <laughs> Eat that! Full power buster shot. <laughs> God, I hate that guy. 
His weapon actually isn't too bad in my opinion. Sometimes it won't work, but for what you need for it, what well, what you need to use it for, it works perfectly fine for me. Charge kit. Okay. And next up, the final robot master, Wayban. So, an interesting thing about Waveband, he kind of shows a precursor to the X series. Not an X1, but in every subsequent game, because right armor. Also, in case you're wondering why you're not seeing a new weapon, there's a reason for that. You, can't, you do have to equip it for one. Okay, this actually can be no. Take the top path for this one. Only because you get an extra life. Every after you die, I recommend just taking this bottom path. I don't know what. I still don't know what takes out these enemies actually. Not oh, great. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This also gave me crap my first time through. Also, they didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. I'm over this one, I'm on this one, and then just over this. This is all you have to do for this part. It's actually not bad, but it gave, it gave me someone crap the first time through. I do apologize once again for the charge, that's why I'm trying my best to talk over it because, man, this is annoying. But I think I'm, well, honestly, I think like most of the platforming is now, yeah, most of the platforming is now done and over with. And everybody, welcome to the water, I mean, to the water section of this stage. I, this gives me severe Mega Man flashback. I mean, X flashbacks. Not bad ones, because I don't think, because I'm not thinking of, um, I'm not thinking of a Mega Man X um, X5 with this one. X5 is the worst with these sections because the fact that in the stage where you do get to do this, you immediately will die. You know what else just hit me? We never see a we never see um, a moment where um he's talking where um I know Portman has a villain this, we never see him talk to Roll. Ever. Oh god, I'm, I think I'm good back. I'll cut back whenever I get there. Okay. Spamming that button will, will, for the win. Okay, here's the part that does get on my nerves a bit. And it's, and it's mostly because of the letter at the end. Because everything else past that point is smooth sailing. Just pay attention for the for these little vile looking thing. No, they look I tell you bad, they look the green back and do you'll see an X2. Crap. Oh god. This is a nightmare for me. No! Oh thank god. No, I really don't care what happens. I have beat the bird. I'll show him off after all this is said and done. I, got, I love the fact that you put one little enemy there for you. One last guy left, okay. Okay, let's do this trident. Okay, I decided I'm gonna show B the bird off in the later stages. So let's just use the Charles kick.
How bad is this ineffectual seeming weapon is the one that gave me the most results? And thankfully, we now have everything we need to get from this, too. Once again, thank you, Cossack, for the great invention you've given us. But next time, we'll be going after Proto Man. This has been Zero, everybody, and until next time.